Hey everyone, Peter here at 630 eBikes. Today we're going to talk about the effect of weight on your eBike. Stay tuned. Okay, so with uh, any vehicle, weight can be a major can be a major issue on its efficiency and how it will perform on your e-bike you can especially notice some big differences uh, because it's, it's kind of a small vehicle and weight can range on a human being uh, quite a lot you know from maybe 80 pounds or so on upwards of 300 pounds so there are basically three factors that weight can really affect on your e-bike that you'll need to think about okay so first of all if you already have a bicycle or an e-bike that's already in motion, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, really need extra energy to keep it in motion, okay? It's mostly about the acceleration. So if you're accelerating, that, that's gonna drain the battery more. Also, if you're going up a hill, that will, it will be more taxing if there's more weight, okay? But if you're going on flat and going a steady speed, really it doesn't matter how much weight once you get up to that speed. Uh, a, third, a third thing to think about is that for more weight on a bike, there will actually be more pressure on the tires, which is more rolling resistance, which will cause uh, it to be less efficient. Okay, So basically we're talking about acceleration, going uphill, and rolling resistance. Now an e-bike will typically, typically come in a 250 watt, 500 watt, or 750 watt. There are other variations, but those are the three main ones. If you're just riding flat on flat areas and uh, maybe you weigh, probably wouldn't matter how much you weighed, up to maybe about 300 pounds, uh, it's not going to have a whole lot of um, impact on your range. But if you want to go uphill and you weigh, and you weigh more, there's definitely going, it's definitely going to have a big impact on your range. So if, uh, say, you're only about 120 pounds, you might zip right up the hill uh, with your 250 watt or 500 watt. However, if you're closer to 300 pounds, the battery is going to drain quite quickly because it's working pretty hard to, to pull the extra weight up the hill. Again, if you're on flat ground and you're only accelerating one time just to get up to speed and then moving quite a, going, going along, it's going to have a momentum and inertia and it won't require that much extra energy to keep you going. If you are stopping a lot and accelerating a lot, that will also drain the battery. So regardless of weight, well, more weight of course um, will make it harder. But the more you accelerate, all, all things even, um, the more the battery will drain and the shorter the range will be. So if you would wait, so it's hard to kind of gauge or to tell you exactly what bike you need in terms of power. For a lot of people, a 250 watt is just plenty and a 500 watt may be kind of more power than they want. Say you weigh less than 150 pounds, you don't expect to accelerate a lot and you're just kind of riding on either kind of level terrain or gently rolling hills, 250 watt may, may well be enough and you may even think, depending on your confidence level, that 500 watts is too much actually. However, if you start to get maybe above the 150 pound range, like myself or our CEO, our CEO weighs about 220 pounds, I'm at about 180 or so, uh, and you want to take that up a hill, you'll be fine on a, on a 500 watt. But you'll definitely want that 500 watt if you're, if you're taking up a steep hill. The 250 watt will probably feel a little slow, slow for you if you get you know, above 150 pounds. Um, and then of course 750 watt, which is really the maximum allowed in this country on roads, uh, will, will be enough power for almost anybody to get them up the hill. But the major things are, do you ride where you're going to be going up hills a lot? Uh, and are you going to be accelerating a lot? Probably not accelerating a lot. That's usually something that happens more, uh, less with recreational riding and more with high performance riding, the acceleration. And then you also have to take into account rolling resistance. So one thing you can also do to improve your battery range uh, if, you, if you have more weight is to find a higher pressure tire. Uh, find one that instead of is at 40 pounds or 50 pounds, find one that's a higher pressure, maybe 75 pounds, 80 pounds. Um, that will help to reduce the rolling resistance and give you, um, give you more range on your battery. So anyway, weight is a, can be a very major factor on, on your battery's range. So you need, to take that, you need to take that into account. But of course, you also have to, uh, you also have to um, you know, modify what I just said with how are you riding the bike? Are you going to be riding it on flat? Because then it won't matter so much. But if you are going up hills, yeah, your battery range can be quite short if there's more weight and you're going up 
you know, the steeper the hill, the, the, the more it will take out of your battery. So just give all those, give all those factors a thought, acceleration, going up hills, and then also rolling resistance. And then of course, um, I would say just to be on the safe side, if you're 150 pounds or more, uh, definitely go with a 500 watt, maybe even consider a 750 watt. Uh, if you're 150 pounds or less, it probably doesn't matter uh, how powerful you get a bike. And the 250 watt may be just all you need, depending on your confidence. Because the 500 watt, sometimes if you're quite light and you're not riding, uh, you know, uphills a lot or whatever, it, it may just feel uh, more like more power than you really want or need. So. Uh, that kind of wraps it up. There are a lot of other considerations, but those are the major things right there for how does weight affect your e-bike range. I truly hope that that was helpful for you. If you liked it, please do like it and hit subscribe. It helps grow our channel. And if you need any help at all, please contact us. You can call us at 310-982-2877 or email us at theteam at 630.com. Remember, 630 is spelled out S-I-X-T-H-R-E-E-Z-E-R-O. The team at 630.com. Thanks.